in manufacturing industry how they did the power distribution this is the second part of video in our previous video we have seen what is the meaning of power distribution so what is the difference between home power distribution and industrial power distribution why industrial power distribution is this much of complicated circuit is required if you are made any mistake in the industrial power distribution what is the impact how can give the solution that, that we have seen the first voltage based and load based application based we segregated then we designed our own power distribution system right so like high voltage low voltage power distribution then our mdb pcc pdb so kilowatt wise we segregated and application oriented also we designed our own power distribution system right today we are going to see in depth about the panels like right? mdb pcc pdb so inside how the connection did and uh, if you are going to the company first time you got to identify the panel right mdb means what pcc means what so really the how the panel it is uh, that we can cover today right let's begin from mdb okay so that the mdb incoming supply where it is coming from the transformer converter for green voltage we have to connect in incomer breaker okay incomer breaker to we have to connect the outgoing feeder so outgoing feeder numbers we have to decide our based on i requirements okay so here outgoing feeder is connected so then we have to go for uh, load connection okay the first load is utility equipment we have to connect the second is emergency equipment that means lighting fire fighting system we have to connect here then uh, high kilowatt equipment we have to connect right so this these are all the uh, distribution from the mdb okay now mdb is completed so now we can see uh, the mdb panel really how it is actually how can we identify the panel right so this is a real uh, mdb panel here you can see so this red color mark no so that actually that is a incomer breaker from incomer breaker this are all the outgoing feeders right so this inside how it is the bus bar connection center how it is you want to see means so it's a big topic uh, before we are covered that actually that uh, details i am giving in i button and description uh, you can see if you are entering to the substation the first time means it's look like a big right it's not like that just mdb so mdb panel incomer breaker and outgoing breaker so that, that's all so how many number of transformer if you are using so that that much of uh, mdb panel is available just uh, you have to check that name only right now mdb is completed next next we can go for pcc right power control center so power control center uh, supply where it is coming from the mdb is coming right so from the mdb one outgoing feeder is free here we can connect pcc panel okay that means the pcc panel incoming supply coming from the mdb fine okay that pcc panel first part is incomer breaker okay that in, from the incomer breaker so the n number of outgoing feeders are available so based on our requirements okay so that uh, uh, pcc panel what is the load we have to connect the manufacturing equipments medium kilowatt equipments we have to connect here fine okay now the pcc is completed let's move to the panel identification industry if you are seeing the panel means you have to differentiate the panel which one is mdb panel which one is pcc panel like that okay okay this is the pcc panel so here you can see this is the incomer breaker okay this incomer breaker supply where it is coming mdb okay the supply is coming to the pcc so from here we have to distribute the supply across the pcc panel okay how it is actually this bus bar is connected like that so from the outgoing feeder this bus bar is connected to all outgoing feeders okay so the supply is distributed like that so here you can see first incomer is uh, acb then outgoing feeders all are mccb okay from the mccb we have to connect the all loads actually pcc watt load we have to connect medium kilowatt load we have to connect right so after connection uh, you have to identify the names also based on sld you have to give the name also okay now mdb is completed pcc also completed fine okay now next we can move to the pdb okay so here you can see pcc one spare feed is there from here we have to connect pdb incomer breaker okay power distribution uh, panel incomer breaker we have to connect okay from the incomer breaker we have to connect the outgoing feeder so actually how many uh, requirement is there based on that we have to decide the outgoing feeder okay so okay so now pdb which load we have to connect so next medium level uh, uh, manufacturing equipment we have to connect right? so actually next medium level kilowatt manufacturing equipment we have to connect here okay okay then next welding circuit if you are going to the industry across the plant you can see this type of circuit this purpose is the portable tool connection like uh, grinding machine welding machine some cleaning machine they have to use okay so that supply we have to connect from this circuit only so from the pdb only fine okay next uh, three phase ac system if you are seeing the industry means they are using a split ac and a three phase ac system also like uh, packaged ac uh, so that that supply we have to uh, given from the pdb only okay then 
Next, three-phase ventilation systems. Our manufacturing industry, they are using very big exhaust fan and air handling units, air coolers and all. that supply we have to given from the PDB. Okay, fine. Now, PDB also completed. So, now we can move to the panel identification. Okay, the same like PCC. So, the panel size is small compared to the PCC. Here also same incomer breaker. This incomer sub breaker supply coming from the PCC. Okay, across the PDB, we have to do the power distribution like that. Here, you can see from the incomer breaker, all the outgoing feeders are connected through the bus bar right okay from the outgoing feeder we have to connect the loads okay so looking like a same pcc so what is the difference now the breaker rating is different because uh, our connected load rating also different that's why our breaker rating also small size fine okay from here outgoing feeder that rpdb and welding circuit sandal we have to connect the names it's mentioned in that uh, panel itself fine okay now uh, pdb is also completed so next we have to move to the rpdb okay raw power distribution okay raw power distribution incoming supply we have to connect from the pdb right so pdb on outgoing feed is free so from that we have to connect rpdb this looking like a home power distribution board right uh, actually is here incoming supply coming through the four pole mcb from the four pole mcb that ryb three phases are segregated and R phase have a, a two pole MCB or ELCB, then from that uh, single pole MCB is there, right? Or single pole MCB, uh, we can connect all the load, right? The phase going through the single pole MCB and the neutral uh, we can connect directly. That means the neutral link is there, the black color. So we can connect here, right? Okay, now RPDB also completed. So now we can move to the uh, lighting distribution. As we discussed earlier, uh, lighting distributions we have to maintain the separate network, right? For that we have a separate lighting transformer. From the lighting transformer, this uh, main uh, incomer breaker, same like our MDB. This name is called MLDB, right? From that MLDB incomer, some outgoing feeders are there. That uh, from that outgoing feeder, uh, that SLDB panel is connected. Actually, that SLDB incomer panel will be connected. So the, from the SLDB panel that uh, outgoing feeders are there. So from that outgoing feeder, uh, so LDBs are there. Uh, so same like our RPDB, no? So the same panel, the name is different, LDB, okay? So here also same four pole MCB, two pole MCB and single pole MCB. From the single pole MCB, all the lightings are connected, fine? Okay, now LDB also completed. Now we can see that uh, lighting supply, DG and the UPS, how it's connected that we can see, fine? Okay. Now uh, here uh, you can see that the incomer breaker uh, is connected to the DG also, right? So you can see the incomer breaker, EV supply, DG supply, both supply is available. So when the uh, electrical supply is disconnected, no, automatically DG will come in line. So that is one controller is there, it's called ATC. So this video also will be covered through the detail I am giving in the description and I button you can check, right? Okay, that is the one option. One more option also is there. Uh, from the ups we can give the lighting supply that's called a uh, eldb emergency lighting db so here you can see that uh, ups is connected in between sldb and eldb so this online ups so always supply going through this ups only so here you can see first two is called a ldb that is a regular power distribution so third one is eldb so actually this uh, how they are segregated no so generally the workplace they are giving uh, many light fitting like uh, for maintaining that lux level so the workplace we have a standard lux level is there so inspection area means we have to maintain the different level lux level so regular uh, storage area means we have to maintain the different level lux level that purpose they are using many light fitting right so but uh, emergency time uh, that is not required so the basic lighting supply is required for example that one area the 10 lights are connected means the emergency time the 3 to 4 lights only in the line so that 3 3 to 4 lines uh, connected through the ups only that's called a eldb okay now lighting distribution is completed at last one bending uh, utility equipment so utility equipment always we have to connect from that mdb because we have to maintain the separate uh, distribution network for the utility equipment fine okay utility equipment means uh, the boilers and the hvac system building cooling system then water treatment plant and uh, the fire fighting system so we can connect uh, through the mdb that is called the utility equipment fine so based on your uh, plant what are all the utility equipments uh, that we can connect from that mdb fine utility panels also same like our uh, pcc pdb so our uh, manifesting equipments we have seen you know, the same power distribution so uh, the panel a little bit different what it is you no know? the uh, utility equipments maximum the motors and pumps are there right so that's what uh, the panel itself they are maintaining the starters so from the starters 
the motor will be connected fine okay now we covered all the topics related to the power distributions uh, i hope you all uh, getting a basic idea about the power distributions uh, now we can move to the conclusion so the two video what we have seen uh, that we can move to the conclusion fine okay that uh, industrial supply uh, coming from that high voltage high voltage is connected to the ht panel so ht panel to transformer transformer is converted to the 415 voltage so the 415 voltage is connected to the mdb so mdb we can current uh, three types of load one is high kilowatt manufacturing equipment the second is uh, emergency equipment like uh, lighting distribution and uh, fire fighting distributions then utility equipments we can connect through the mdb so the next pcc pcc means power control center this uh, we can connect medium kilowatt uh, equipments and the next pdb also medium kilowatt equipments we can connect and uh, from the uh, pdb rpdb rpdb so all the single phase equipments we can connect through the uh, rpdb fine finally i am going to share you some additional tips about the power distribution fine now you are going to start the power distribution means what are all the things you have to keep in mind so that we can see first you have to choose the proper location of transformer on the mdb so for example in your plant around 2 km radius means that mdb transformer will be in middle of the plant why because from that you can do the proper power distribution system that means the very less power transmission loss will be there for example if you are choosing the transformer mdb in one end of the plant means you have to use the uh, length of the cable also is getting higher side okay so, so cable length getting higher side means the transmission loss also will be hit higher side okay so for that you have to choose the middle of the plant for uh, mdb and transformers fine okay that is one and the second is a uh, cost wise uh, so for example if you are choosing that uh, uh, transformer mdb in one uh, one end means the cable length across the plant you have to do the power distribution right so for that the cable length is increasing means uh, the ultimately cable cost and the cable tray cost installation cost manpower cost so all are getting higher side okay so for that uh, it will be better for uh, keeping the middle of the plant okay then uh, finally uh, future concern so now you are going to install any panels whatever mdb or pcc pd whatever panels you have to keep extra feed the spare feeder you have to maintain so why because so we cannot predict our uh, plant expansion so, so uh, suddenly some uh, extra loads or some extra motors will be added in our equipment so for that uh, we have to plan some spare feeder suppose we are not planning the spare feeder means so we have to go for the separate distribution that means the separate transformer separate mdb for uh, small uh, load increase also we have to go for the separate distribution for avoiding this uh, we have to maintain some spare feeders fine okay if you are following this procedure and tips means our power distribution system will be in good okay okay or now power distribution is completed so next video what we are going to see so this power distribution system how it's controlled by the breakers so what are all the breakers available in manufacturing industry so that we can uh, see in detail in next video fine okay thank you